Now, there are some launchers, though, that would give one that kind of feel, uh, the same kind of feel that the Samsung phones have. And Ed, you are going to be talking about one of such launchers. And I think, was that the Apex or was that the Nova that have that same kind of implementation or something close to what the Samsung phones have? The one I am going to demonstrate today is Nova. And something I should have said in the demo that I didn't, so I'll say it now, is that Nova is a both a free and a paid launcher. And if you want to get the ability to organize your apps, either in the folders or tabs, and I talk about tabs a little bit in the demo, then you're going to need to pay for uh, Nova Launcher. It's not a huge amount. I bought it a while ago, so, so I can't see how much it is, but I think it's about 6 or $7. Um, if you don't have the... Uh, paid version but you do have Nova Launcher it will say Prime after the feature and that will either tell you to buy it or to install the licensing app it's a little bit like ACR phone in that respect if you buy it you need, you need the licensing app installed as well so here is my demo of how to organize apps in folders using Nova Launcher. Hello everyone I'm Ed Green and in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create folders in your app drawer using the Nova Launcher. You'll be familiar with the concept of folders on your home screen. Think of your home screen like your desktop. Sometimes we want access to quite a lot of apps fairly quickly on our home screens. And to make that efficient, uh, we put them in folders. We've covered how to create folders on home screens before in episodes of the podcast. And you can go back to listen to those. I think it was episode 13 where we discussed it. What if you've got a lot of apps on your phone, though, in your app drawer? And you want that to be a little bit more efficient than having to scroll down all the way through the alphabet to find the apps that you want. Well, in a lot of instances, you're kind of stuck. Uh, your launcher won't let you do much with your app drawer. Again, we've covered launchers on episode 13. But to recap, if your home screen's like your desktop, which you can change, think of your launcher as your desk. In Android, you can get rid of the whole desk if you don't like it. Many people don't bother. Many people are quite happy with the launchers that ship with their phones. Every phone has a launcher. Google has a launcher. Samsung has a launcher. Sony has a launcher. OnePlus has a launcher. Xiaomi has a launcher. But there are also a lot of third-party launchers, some free, some paid. And for those of us with lots of apps on their phones, I have over 200. As I say, you can organize your apps uh, in the app drawer in folders, certainly using Nova Launcher, possibly others as well. It's highly customizable. I used to really like it, but it didn't at the time support talkback actions, so I reluctantly got rid of it and went for Hyperion. It does now support uh, talkback actions though, so I took a little look at it and discovered that it does allow me to organize my apps in my app drawer into folders. This process bears absolutely no resemblance, by the way, to creating a folder on a home screen, but why should it? Creating a folder on a home screen is an Android concept. This one is launcher specific. So I'm going to bring up my launcher settings. The way we do this is to find a blank spot on the home screen and touch it. That sounded blank. Then do a two finger uh, single tap and hold or two finger press on the screen. Desktop previews, home screen one to one. Settings. And there are my settings. I'm going to go into home screen settings. Widgets list closed. Nova settings. Home screen. Set grid. Icon layout. Dot settings. And more. Double tap to activate. And I'm going to find the setting that relates to customizing my app drawer. App drawer. Set layout. Style. Opening gesture. And more. Double tap to activate. Open app drawer. Swipe. Tab bar placement. None. Double tap to activate. Tab bar placement. Nova supports the creation of both folders and tabs. And as far as I can tell, the primary difference is visual. If you create tabs, you'll have sort of settings or app category tabs across. Well, if you put the, 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 the tab bar at the top, it'll be at the top of your um, uh, app drawer. You know, you get tabs and apps quite often. And I guess this is similar. I'm going to show you folders. They do, they do the same thing. They help organize your apps. Door groups, customize tabs and folders in the door. Double tap to activate. 
This is what we want. Customize tab, uh, tabs and folders in the drawer. Drawer groups. Navigate up button. Drawer groups. Tabs and list. Unlabeled. Text. Plus. Double tap to activate. Labels available. Use swipe up then right to view. Not a brilliantly labeled button, but the plus will tell you it's an add button. I don't want to create a tab, though. I'm going to carry on and create a folder instead. Apps. All apps. Excluding hidden. More options. Button. Folders. Unlabeled. Text. Plus. Double tap to activate. Labels available. Use swipe up then right to view. This is what we want. Add drawer folder. Title. Edit box. Out of list. Double tap and hold to long press. Editing options available. Use swipe up then right to view. I have a couple of Amazon apps. I'm going to create an Amazon folder for the purposes of this demonstration. Amazon. Edit box. Title. Keyboard hidden. Double tap and hold. Button. Text. A. Now that button, if I click it, will let me set various color options relating to this folder. None of those will read with TalkBack, the various color options. It'll just say radio button. There is a checkbox which allows Nova to manage the colors for you, which will result in all the radio buttons being disabled. And that's in case you've, you know, you've customized your home screen and your app draw to such an extent that actually you've picked a color you can't really see. So Nova will handle your colours for you if you want it to. Um, we don't care because TalkBack won't read us the colours anyway. Not ticked. Keep apps in main app tab. Tick box. Double tap the toggle. So as well as having your apps in a folder, you could also keep them in what it's calling the main apps tab. So, so if I have an Amazon folder and add all my apps to it, it makes it easy for me to find them. But if I also want the Amazon uh, apps to show in the app drawer alphabetically where they would, it'll keep them there as well. It's redundant in my view, so I won't do it. Cancel. Double add. Double tap to activate. So we'll add this folder. Door groups. Unlabeled and list. Text. Plus. Double tap to activate. Labels available. Use swipe up then right to view. Amazon. Empty. More options. Button. Double tap to activate. So on this screen now, you have... Uh, the first things would be items pertaining to tabs. So if I went, uh, if I if I swiped left from here, then I'd find a different more options button which related to tabs. Um, you want the one associated with the folders or the folder that you just created. So you heard it say Amazon. This is the more options button I want. Pop up window. Edit and list. Select apps. Double tap to activate. So I can select apps now to put in this folder. Let's see if we have anything else. Delete. We can delete the folder, but I'll go to select apps. Select apps. Hide apps. Navigate up. Button. Out of list. Amazon. More options. Button. Acapella TTS voices. Acapella TTS voices. Not ticked. Tick box and list. Double tap to activate. So a nice accessible process. Each app has a, a, a tick box, which I can I can tick. ASI all four. All four. Not ticked. Tick. Alpha backup pro. Alpha, amazing MP3. Amazon Alexa. Amazon Alexa. Not ticked. Tick box. Double tap to activate. Amazon Alexa sounds like quite a sensible thing to put in an Amazon folder. Tick. Amazon Music. Amazon Music. Not ticked. Tick box. Double tap to. Tick. Amazon Shopping. Amazon Shopping. Not ticked. Tick box. Tick. Analyti. Analyti. Not ticked. Tick box. Double tap to activate. We've ticked a couple of Amazon apps. Uh, if I navigate up. Navigate up. Button. Out of list. More groups. More options. Button. And list. Amazon, Amazon Alexa, Amazon Music, Amazon Shopping. So there's my folder. Let's go and see if it's in the app drawer, shall we? Navigation bar, home, button, out. Nova 7, Gmail, double, apps, Nova Search, button, Play Store, button, settings, docs, folder, Amazon, three items, and grid, 50 rows, five columns. Double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press, actions available, use swipe up then right to view. And there's my folder. I, I have apps that I frequently access at the top of my app drawer because it's handy. I could have the folder uh, at, above those. So all my folders I could have at the very top of the app drawer and or get rid of that list of frequently used apps if I wanted to, if you wanted to make the folder even easier to find. Let's see if the apps that we put in it are in fact in it. Amazon Alexa, out of grid. Folder open, Amazon Music, Amazon Shopping. Double tap to activate. Double tap and hold to long press. Actions available. Use swipe up then right to view. They are indeed. So the folder was created in my app drawer. Uh, it had the apps that I added to it. Uh, so potentially quite a handy feature, depending on whether or not you have a lot of apps and you want that drawer a little bit more organized.